Okay, good morning everyone. Today is the 31st of December 2022. So this is the final day of the year and I'm back with Eden again today like I am with every other day just about now. We're not keeping any secrets. We've launched at 40 mile, which is about 45 minutes out of Karatha. Beautiful little spot, popular camping ground, but it's also really good to launch in Tinny. So what's special about today is as you can see behind me, we've obviously got really good conditions. Normally when we launch here, a typical day will be a launch on a low tide in the morning and then come back in the high tide. Today we're actually launching on an outgoing tide and then we're gonna come back in on the low. We've got just enough water to come back in on the low today. So I'm gonna send the drone up and show you guys that when we come in because it's a pretty gnarly track getting back in to get the boat back onto the trailer and you normally have to get your vehicle wet. We came out here diving last week and we shot a few fish, which I'm gonna show you in a second, but on the way out, we found a really, really good mooring just by chance that was holding a lot of big pelagics on it. But I messed up last week by not having any rods in the boat. So today we've loaded up on rods. We've got all the fishing gear, that's priority one. We're gonna head out, we're gonna go chase some pelagics. So there'll be big GTs, Mackies, Cobia, all that sort of thing, hopefully on this mooring. So while we go find our way out to that spot, before we get stuck into it, I'm just gonna roll the clips of Eden and I shooting a couple of nice big trout last week. In pretty good conditions, had the GoPro on my head. We're gonna head out there now and then we'll catch you out there and we'll get into the water, drop some jigs. I do have the spear guns with us as well, so yeah, it should be an action-packed day. The viz looks like it's gonna be good. We'll show you these clips now and then we'll get out there. We're just cruising up to the mooring right now. So we're gonna see if we saw what we saw last week. And I'm gonna film the first drop. We've just got whatever we had on our rods ready to go. From last time, so I got a jerk shad. Eden's gonna drop a metal jig down. And we're definitely on for fish on the bottom, so. The hardest thing for today is gonna to be holding holding ground. So it's probably gonna be more me driving the boat and filming and just even loading up on fish really. So we're gonna drop right now and see what we can get. show you guys in a second I'm only I'm like two foot off this mooring so I'm gonna be real careful here oh shit and I'm probably gonna get snagged to be honest well that didn't even drop at all oh Eden's on just like that First, first drop. So I'm gonna put my rod down and I'm just gonna steer the boat for her. Just gonna get away from the moorings. Rope. As you can see, she's having a good time. I'm gonna run the good camera now. We're gonna switch over. 
silver. So my job's the most important one is keeping us away from that mooring right there. So we don't want to knock into it with the boat. There's a big long rope going to another float over there. God. Oh yeah. I'm just going to take this further away now. Big Trevally. Is it a G? Yeah. Big Trevally. <laughs> It's a golden, golden trevally to start the day. First fish. My arm's dead already. All right, so I've got hook pullers. We'll switch back to the GoPro now. Right there, and it's getting us away from the mooring rope there, so we don't get tangled up in it. Nice fish to start the day. This one's going to go back in the water. We're after uh, something different from that mooring over there, so I'm just going to take a quick photo and then we'll drop it in. All right, throw him back in nice and healthy. I'm just going to drop down quickly while we're here. Because our drift seems to be holding pretty good. Oof. Yep. On. Yeah. Just like that. Probably another trev. Eden's gonna have to steer the boat on this one if you get too close to the morning. Oh. This might take a while too because I'm on a real light outfit. I'm really gonna have to play this fish. I'm gonna grab the good camera. Oh, oh, I'm not. Oh. Singing. I've got no. Oh, there you go. Did you lose it? Whatever that was, I don't think I was gonna stop it in a hurry. I don't really wanna spend half an hour playing one fish. Especially, that took it pretty low on the bottom, so I'm gonna say it was a big trevally. So that was on the jig though. So I'm going to re-rig, get back over there and see what happens next one. We are genuinely, Eden's oh, on, another small fish. I'm going to drop down on the same side. I'm going spin on my Stella. Oh, right species. Oh yeah, so she's got a red emperor. So that's what we're hoping to find down on the bottom, so that is actually very exciting. And what that means to me is, there's every chance I might even jump in there and dive this, or at the very least come back here for a dive on another day. There's someone who else can do 15s and go down and shoot some of them, because I've never shot one. I've got the hook pullers there. Okay, I'm gonna wind in, reset that drift. Let's see how we go. All right, so we're probably just gonna fish bait for the best part of the morning while we got fresh bait and we might as well rip through it and then if we run out then we're going to switch up because now that we've caught that first red that gives us a great deal of enticement to keep targeting them 
So, I'm going to drop right now. Such a tricky spot to hold bottom on where the swell's working. Ooh, Eden's back on. And that could be a red, I reckon. I've got sunscreen all over my hand. I've gone real light on my ball sinker, so I might have to try oh, get down. Ranking. Oh, yeah, it is a ranking. It's actually not a bad ranking cod either. I might keep that because I've got plenty, plenty of trout and bone at home, but yeah, there we go. All right. It was a good take, but now it's got... Damn, that just got way smaller. I think it got off, eh? Oh, no. Still, what is this? Oh! Oh, oh, no, no, it's... Where? Oh! I chased it up. Alright, so I just had another golden on. Eden's got a rank in. Put it back if you want, or we can keep it. Might as well keep it, eh? Yeah, they're good eating fish, so... Might get one or two rankings and then see if we can get some reds, but the fact that we're getting them off here is awesome. Okay, rinse and repeat. Go on. All right. We are on some really, really good ground, hey? Which hopefully you guys will see again in a second. I'm fishing a little bit lighter than even on my rig, so I take a bit longer to get down to the bottom. She's probably gonna get hooked up again in a second. I'll probably miss out yet again. Something just... Yeah, I've got... All right, I've got a fish on. Nothing to write home about on this one. It is a, another one of those perch. Try not to drop this guy. It's another one of those perch there. Send him back down. Should have been a bit of line wrap there. That's bloody dangerous. Better sort that out. Pronto, not good. Uh, oh no. Oh no. Oh no. I'm about to lose a hand. Or the tip of the rod. All right. Had a bit of braid wrap around the tip of the rod then, and then had a strike as well, which wouldn't have been good. Very small fish, whatever this one is. It's not what I want at all. Another one. Another one of these perch. They look like they'd be tasty, but someone told me that they're not, I think. Yes, dog. See what she's got. It got wider. Don't want to steal the shine. Another ranking. Another ranking, yeah. Smaller one this time, so we'll put this one back though. Okay, but I'm rigged and ready to go, so I'm going to get in there. I accidentally left my sunglasses in the car today. I get sunburnt eyes real bad when I'm on the water, and that's an actual thing. If you don't think it is, look it up. It sends me blind for about two weeks after, where I feel like I need glasses. Not ideal. Another so light. Oh, you're joking. Oh, you're on. No. 
What? I've got a squid. What yep. The oh, this is why we needed the net. I thought we brought it. No. Watch it. Watch out for me. Hey! Oh! What the heck? All right, we got ink tail bad. But I'm gonna put this guy out or this one. Hey! All right, we actually brought squid jigs today, hoping to get some squid. <laughs> Wanted some calamari. I just slung that guy on the boat because he was only on a fishing hook. I went to drop my bait and I was like, why didn't that sink? And it was out. And then, yeah, nice little calamari there. So I'm going to put him out, and that's awesome because that means we can have squid with our fish for dinner tonight. That's so random. Okay, so I've just put that squid away. That was pretty awesome. We're pretty much holding the same spot. Going to do another drop right now. See if this time I can actually get to the bottom. Doesn't get better than this today. New Year's Eve 2022. Perfect way to finish the year. Fish everywhere. My first time fishing in forever. First time actually filming fishing in forever. I have oh, missed yeah, it a bit. Eden's on. Yes, it's picture. Hopefully I'll be on in a sec. Another, another ranking. Damn, that's a that's good a big one. one. So, yeah. oh, we'll keep putting the rankings back now because we have enough commercial fish. At home, we're hoping to find the reds instead. Alright, so another nice little ranking cod there. He's going back as well. We're only in 14, 14 metres of water right now, so these guys will swim back nicely. On to the next. All right, I've got a Mackie on. I just lost the plastic a second ago. And then Eden lost the jig. Now I thought, I'm gonna drop this plackie down and play it, and it was only about five meters under the boat. Big take. I'm only in a light outfit, so it's not gonna be a massive fish, but hopefully it's a Spanish Mac. If it's a Spanish around the meter mark even, I'll be so stoked. Definitely Mackie though. I've just got to be careful how I play it because I'm only on PE2 with, I think, 40 pound wind on leader. No wire trace. Nothing going on. Oh, yeah. We're right next to the mooring. So I've just got to be careful. It doesn't run me around the side of it. Otherwise, I'm going to test Eden's skippering skills here. But I am winning some line on it. I don't want to lose it. So it's dragging the boat a bit now. So I might get, yeah, can you put it in reverse? And we're just going to very gently knock it in reverse, like very, very gently. And just drive us away from the mooring. Yep, go. Quick, 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 quick. Because she'll film the mooring here. If it gets me around that, I'm screwed and I've lost it. So hopefully. You feel it rubbing? Yep. Oh well, lost it. Try that again. Yeah. Yeah. That's a big fish. <laughs> That's a big fish. That almost put me in. Oh my god, this is humongous. <laughs> that fair Incan almost pulled me in. And I'm only fishing light as well. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Right. It'd be another big G. Alright, I'm kind of winning some line back on this one now. They are, kind of. That was such a good eat. I love that. Dead silence. Up, down, up, down. Oh. 
Oh, that's, yeah, that is a big fish. Starting to lose this one to the dangles again. Fully spin. <laughs> it's spinning the boat around. You guys can't see it, but we're just pulling a full 360. <laughs> So I just saw some before. Oh yeah, I see him down there now. Oh mate. Solid fish. Oh. Right, we got colour. Even we'll film over the side of the boat now. It's another good one, much like this morning's. My first got here. Oh, he almost propped me there. Oh, mate, it's kicking hard. And that's such a fun fish to catch, eh? Oh, this, one's, this one's a proper GT. So this morning was a golden trevally, this one. Giant Valley. Try to settle it down a bit. On the six and a half inch McPaddle there. Awesome plastic, awesome fish, super fun to catch. This is still only a small for a giant Valley in the scheme of things, but as you can see, they put up a good fight, so I'm going to put him back. Aiden's on. Aiden's on again. I'm going to blind in so I can camera this one. Okay, switching. Okay, so we got this black spot Malabar cod here. These guys are a five star eating fish. They're a bit slimy to fill it and whatnot, but they do have great fillets on them. But funnily enough, this morning, this little bit of leader here sticking out of its throat is one of Eden's earlier rigs that she lost. So the good thing behind that is because it swallowed it fully, we're gonna keep that fish Otherwise, that hook and sinker is never going to come out of its guts without it dying. So it means we get to take it. It's the best thing for it. And uh, it wasn't a wasted fish with that rig swimming around in it because we ended up catching it twice. So that's good. So Eden's fishing overhead. That's why you guys aren't hearing any drag screaming because there is no drag on that reel. Getting close. Come on. I ain't got, I ain't got all day. Get it up. Hopefully, we can just unhook yeah. this guy without getting it back in the boat, I think. Yep, nice big GT. 
krass groß. <laughs> okay guys, so that's where we're wrapping up this episode. By default, we don't really have a choice. This is going to be the last episode recorded for 2022 because it's the last day of the year. But as you can see, we've just come back in. I'm going to show you the drone footage right now. Today felt a bit weird. We came in on the lowest point of the tide and what that meant is that I had to winch the boat on with not a lot of water under the boat. Otherwise, you end up getting a lot of salt into the car and the chassis and whatnot. So you're basically dry winching it with about a foot of water underneath the boat. But what's actually happened is while I was doing it, the, what would you call it? Strap. Yeah, so what's actually happened is was while I was winching the boat back onto the trailer and it was under load, the strap, which is like seatbelt material, has just fully let go and snapped clean in half, not on the stitching, nothing. And then all of that load, the shackle at the end of it's come flying at my finger, split my finger open, the strap snapped off and pinged into the water after it bounced off my hand and I was thinking that we were going to have some real trouble getting the boat back on the trailer but fortunately I was actually able to find it in the water and then tie it on with just two granny knots and then it managed to winch it back onto the trailer once I reversed out a bit further. So that was a bit of a sad ending to the day but it was actually a pretty good ending given the circumstances. So yeah, that's it from this 40 mile trip. This is actually where Eden has no idea what I'm actually about to say, but this is where we had our first date at 40 mile here. So the first ever time that we hung out about four months ago now, I came and picked her up in the morning and we came out here, but all I did was dive the whole day. I basically didn't even wet a line. So to go fishing all the day and then leave the spear fishing gear in the boat today was actually a good achievement by me. First day we came out here, I remember we came back in and I brought her some coffees the, in the morning before we came out and then I've grabbed a coffee cup at the end of the day and then it was um it was still full and then she said to me well I didn't want to take the risk on needing to go to the toilet <laughs> in front of you on our first date. So I didn't I wasn't sure if I was felt good about the fact that she was thinking about me and that idea or the fact that I wasted five bucks on a large coffee for her but then lo and behold today she did drink another coffee and then I'll leave the rest <laughs> for your imagination on the trip out but um yeah no, it was a good day overall got a couple of nice fish probably gonna could have gone a little bit harder um but like anything plenty of fish at home and it was a good fun day so see you guys in the new year